What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than half a kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and we're in Sawtooth Cauldron, and I'm going to show you a few chests that you might have missed. That's right. It is another episode of my series, Hidden Chests That You Might Have Missed, a guide for new vault hunters. And for the newer subscribers to my channel, this is a series where I go through the game, and I show you a few cool loot boxes that you might have missed on your way through the game that you can go back farm and pick up some decent uh, weaponry, especially some of the chests that I'm going to show you today that usually net at least one purple or two per chest farm and run, which is actually pretty decent. So, before I get into the topic of what I wanted to talk about today, I do want to say welcome and thank you to all the new subscribers that I picked up this week. Uh, since the Christmas break and the holidays and everything, a lot of you guys actually came to my channel, checked it out, and were nice enough to subscribe. So let me go ahead and give you a few quick facts about me so you guys can like really stop asking any questions because, you know, I usually answer all these questions on my Sunday Q&A, which I do every Sunday. And uh, if you want to go ahead and ask me a question, ask me there. I usually answer all types of questions unless I've answered them a million times, which then I usually kind of just refer you back to a different video in which I answered it. So, let me introduce myself. My name is Jay. I'm 29, I'm from New Jersey, and this is my channel, More Than After Kill. Right now I do Borderlands. In the future, we're going to be doing some Grand Theft Auto V. We're also going to be doing some League of Legends and shit like that. So stay tuned, you know, you might find something that you want. I do post a variety of videos, but right now I've just been stuck on Borderlands because, you know, Borderlands is actually a great game. And it's a great game that's currently being ruined right now. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, Morning! Are you going to talk about it again? I'm going to talk about it again. I am not going to let this go. We need an answer from Gearbox. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a shield in the game called the B. Now the B wasn't working as intended, quote unquote, by Gearbox. And what happened was, is this, you know, shield was giving people immense power. And they were making, you know, pretty much a joke of some of the bosses that are in the game and running through them and, you know, easily putting them down. And Gearbox stated, you know, this is not how they properly intended the game to play. They didn't want to put that in there for that type of reasons. And then they went ahead and nerfed it. And I don't have a problem with the nerf. The nerf was actually pretty decently well done. Until some people started feeling like, you know what, we feel like we're a little bit underpowered. And then the people on the Borderlands forums, they went and they tested out, and guess what? Well, when they nerfed the B-Shield, they accidentally screwed up some of the damage values, and now the damage values are applying to some things that they really probably shouldn't be applying to, especially things like class mods, relics, and even skill trees are being negated, which is not a good thing. But I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, why are you talking about this again? Well, because I wanted to bring some attention to something that's going on on the Borderlands forums. I'm going to link it in the description down below. If you're not signed up to the Borderlands forums and you have an opinion for this, please go ahead and sign up. Because a lot of people from Gearbox do read the forums and they are taking our opinions into light into what they should do about this. And Gearbox has not actually come out with an official opinion on what happened with this B-Shield nerf. So it's possible that we, the community, can do something to sway their opinions and their thoughts on this and we can get this fixed and maybe even get the B-Shield back to where it used to be. Which is not my agenda, but a lot of people really feel that you shouldn't nerf things inside of a non-competitive co-op game because if you don't want to use it you don't have to use it if you're in a lobby where people are using it you can just leave or if you're hosting the lobby you can kick them out of your game plain and simple as that so let me bring attention to what's going on on the forums right now on the forums, there's a guy named Loot Turtle. You guys are going to be like, oh, I know Loot Turtle. Loot Turtle was the guy from your last video that gave you the screenshots, right? Yes, Loot Turtle has been doing some data mining, and a lot of people have been doing some testing to find out just exactly how far the rabbit hole goes on this nerf and what it's affecting and how bad it's being affected. So, if we take a look at the list of what they found so far to be affected by it, there is a huge list of weapons so far that are confirmed to be affected in a negative way. But that's not what I want to put my attention to. What I want to put my attention to is the skill trees. Because let's take a look at this. First off, we're going to look at Zero the Assassin, alright? Two, almost two and a half because velocity, the crit damage isn't affected, but the gun damage bonus is. So his deception... 
his rising shot and his velocity are all affected negatively by the Beast Shield patch. Let's go take a look at Salvador, the Gunzerker. Not only is he affected by this patch, he is affected on four different skills. And his skills that are being affected are All I Need Is One, Divergent Likeness, I'm Your Huckleberry, and No Kill Like Overkill. Which, when you take a look at that, four skills out of his entire trees are being, you know, adversely affected by this patch. This is something that needs to be brought to light. And also, we've already mentioned that Gage the Necromancer, her anarchy is totally broken because of this. But also, Maya, her accelerate is broken by this. But then we take a look at Axton. Axton is the one that is affected by this mostly. He's affected on his battlefront skills, crisis management, duty calls, impact, last ditch effort, and the ranger. This is five or six different skills that are being completely broken because of one nerf to one item. And you know, this is the reason why I was against the B nerf in the first place. I have no problem with the game trying to, you know, remain some type of challenge or artistic integrity within the game. But you know what? When you do nerf things like this, there are a lot of unintended side effects. And the unintended side effects is not only is it affecting a huge list of guns in the game, class mods, relics, but when it starts affecting entire character skill trees, something needs to be addressed and something needs to be done about it because right now, as it is, one item in the game got nerfed and it threw off the entire balance of the game through the skill trees, relics, class mods, so now True Vault Hunter difficulty was already hard enough, especially with some of the bosses, you know, abilities, where it doesn't matter what shield you're wearing, what capacity health you have, they will take your shields and leave you with 5% health. You know, they are trading in this game actual true difficulty for cheapness, and that does not make a fun game. That makes a frustrating game when it feels like instead of playing against the computer and the enemy AI, now it feels like when you're playing this game that you're just fighting the developers and you're fighting to find a way to, you know, beat them instead of beating the game. And that is when you have a really bad mix of what's going on in your game. So, my name's Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. This was my hidden chest that you might have missed. A guide for new vault hunters. I want to thank you guys for watching. But please, go ahead down in the description. Click the link. Sign up for the Borderlands forums. And you know what? Show your support that we need this fixed. Because we need our skill trees fixed. We need our relics fixed. We need our weapons fixed. So, like I said, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe on this video if you haven't already. I'm going to see you guys later.